Today in India, we are faced with this threat of coronavirus spreading widely. It has already arrived in, in India. As you may know already, that it has done a lot of damage in China where it originated. And then it has spread to many other countries, including Europe. So today, we need to educate ourselves to see how we can protect ourselves individually, for our family, for our community, and as a country at large. This virus actually originated in China. All the people who have suffered symptoms from it have developed cold, cough, coughing, sneezing, and some of them have developed pneumonia. So that becomes a very dangerous thing for those people who have developed pneumonia if they already are compromised, like people who have asthma, people who are elderly, whose, whose immunity is down, people who are diabetics, people who have heart disease or on cancer treatment. So what can we do to ourselves? Two things, if you find that somebody in your vicinity or where you are is coughing or sneezing, this virus spreads through the droplets that come out of when somebody coughs or sneezes. These are little, little droplets which we, the virus is being carried on. And if you find that you are in a vicinity of that person, put a distance of at least two meters between yourself and the person because the droplets travel typically between one meter to one and a half meters. So keep your distance as much as possible. Also, if you happen to shake hands with these people who may have coughed on their hand, because this virus can survive on surfaces like the hand or tabletops or, or handrails or knobs of, uh, uh, of public spaces, then you should wash your hands immediately with soap and water at least lasting 20 seconds, because that's how much it takes to clean your hands properly. So one thing that you can do as a protection is don't shake hands, just do namaste. That is our traditional Indian way of just greeting each other. That's the best, at least for the moment, till the threat of coronavirus disappears. Third thing is that if you know somebody who's had persistent cough and cold fever, encourage them right away to go to the doctor and not be hesitant because there is no stigma attached to it. This is a season of a flu. A lot of people will have colds and coughs, but if you have fever and it's persisting more than one or two days, it's better to go to a doctor and get checked up. If people who have come in contact with travelers from overseas, so if they have traveled recently and you have been in contact with them and you develop some symptoms, then you must go to the doctor right away and get a checkup. This is your personal protection. Then, of course, you should apply the same to your family. Do not allow people who are who have cold and cough close to your family. Let them wear masks. And also then isolate them from your younger children and older people. Because they are particularly uh, uh, vulnerable to it. Because the children, in particularly small children, the immunity has not developed fully. Then you go to the larger community. But going to larger gatherings where you may not know what who the person is, what their background are, and maybe even coughing while you're there, I think it's just precaution that you can take for yourself. The, you must understand that this virus is similar in some ways to the, the flu we get annually, like we got swine flu. So swine flu had a, a mortality or death rate of about less than 2%. This is over 2%, 3%. What I would say in the end is do not panic, but be serious, be cautious, be aware. So it's, we don't want you to be unnecessarily off your guard. Just be aware of your surroundings, who, where you are and try to avoid crowded spaces for a prolonged period of time where you cannot keep distance from other people who may be coughing or something. Similarly, 
if you have if you if it's important to go then you should wear a three layer surgical mask which does prevent protect you to some degree that the droplets may not penetrate the mask i think if you take these precautions we will all become what we call coronavirus warriors